have no way. What are you doing? Because that's not where you're supposed to be. If I see you on another screen before this is over, I'm sending you to the office. I end up rushing. I was trying to just record. All right, so I'm already presenting the first part of verbs we're going to talk about are thinking and action verbs. So action verbs are normally what we think of when we think of verbs. It's like our normal thought. An action verb shows what the subject does, did, or will do. A linking verb connects a subject a sentence to a predicate or an object. So here's an example. The tree kangaroo climbed out on the branch. So climb, that's an action verb. It's what it did. But then here's a linking verb. The tree kangaroo looked unusual. So that is that linking verb. It's not something that you necessarily do like climb. It's just linking the object, the kangaroo, and the predicate, you know, what it's doing. It's looking unusual. Okay. So we're going to identify the action verb or linking verb in each sentence. So number one, the tree kangaroo jumped from the branch. So does anyone know if there's an action verb or a linking verb in number one? Raise your hand. Zach, nice and loud, unmute yourself. That way people at home can hear. A action. What is the action verb? Jump. Yep, yep. You may mute yourself again. So that's an action word, the kangaroo jumped. I traveled to the forest of Papua New Guinea. Miss Olive, unmute yourself. Is there an action verb or is there a linking verb in there? And then tell me what it is. I traveled, I traveled to the forest of Papua New Guinea. Um, the action verb? And what is it? Is it? My screen just went to my spot. I'm trying to. I, I traveled. traveled to the forests of Papua New Guinea. Papua New Guinea is a place, so it's not going to be a verb. I, I is a pronoun. So we have traveled to the forests of. Which one of those is verb? Which one of those can you do? Yes, traveled is an action verb. So. Traveled is an action verb. Next, the scientist tricked animal. So here we have another action verb. And it is what? Type it in chat. Because muting and unmuting yourself takes forever. So type it in my chat. What is the action verb in number three? What is my action verb in number three? Everyone should be participating. What is my action verb in number three? Type it in the chat. Tracked. Rochelle wins. Mark comes second. Good job. Tracked. That is my action verb. Next one. The workers felt very tired. So this is not an action verb. This is a linking verb. Because you can't do the verb in here. You can't do this. So what is the linking verb in number four? It is not tired. That's an adjective, Evan. Felt. Yes, it is felt. It is not tired. Tired is an adjective. It is felt. You cannot felt, but you can feel that way. That is something you can feel, so that makes it a linking verb. The next one, the tree kangaroo appeared short and squat. Squat? The tree kangaroo appeared short and squat. This is another linking verb. What is the linking verb here? We know it's not the tree kangaroo because we've already seen that a ton. So is it either appeared short and or and or squat? Sorry, that was confusing. What is the linking verb? I'm seeing correct answers. It is appeared. That's another linking verb there. Because it appeared to be that way. All right. The men built a fence around the tree. This is an action verb. What is the action verb in number Six, what is the action verb in number six? Landon and Ava, yup, yup, it is built. Mark, yup, 
It is built. That is the action word. That's something you can do. A few minutes later, the animal awakened. What is the action word in awakened? Or in sentence seven, sorry. What is the action word in sentence seven? After a few minutes, the animals awakened. After a few minutes, animals awakened. It is awakened. That's something that you can do. That's an action verb. And the last one. I don't know. The tree kangaroo is a wild animal. Actually, you know what? I'm not totally sure on number eight. So we're going to take five and we'll review that tomorrow. Someone? We're skipping that. Because wild is an, ad er, is an adjective. So I'm pretty sure it is is because um, that would be just a linking verb there. So is is not normally a linking verb, but it is in this sentence. Okay? So it's a little bit tricky. What? Yeah, it is is. All right. Main and helping verbs. So. Main verbs tells the sub tells what the subject is thinking or doing. Helping verbs come before, everyone say that, before the main verb and add detail. Some helping verbs are may, must, might, been, is, do, should, have, will, can. Okay? So here's an example. We may go to the park soon. So the main verb is go. You're going to do that. But may is a helping verb. It's not going to be we go to the park soon. It's going to be we may go to the park soon. So here... Identify the main and the helping verb in each sentence. So there's going to be one in each sentence. So we must preserve our wild places. What is the helping verb? We must preserve our wild places. It is must. Must is our helping, and then it comes right before the verb. So preserve is our main verb. Must is helping verb. Preserve is our main verb. I am presenting my findings today. I am presenting my findings today. The main verb is presenting, so our helping verb is going to be am. You all like you're going to do it. Number three. The scientist may find a solution to the problem. May is our helping verb. So what is our main verb? Our helping verb is may. What is our main verb in number three? I already said it was may. I want you to find the main verb now, Evan. Rochelle has them both. May is our helping verb. So our main verb is find. Thank you. We will release Tess back into the wild. Will is our helping verb. So what is our main verb in number four? Will is the helping verb. What is our main verb in number four? You wrote realize, Evan. Mark and Rochelle have it. Eden has it. It is release. That is our main verb. And I will study the animals with the team. Study is our main verb. So what is our helping verb? It comes before the main verb. There's only two options before the main verb of study. What is it? What is our helping verb in number five? What's our helping verb in number five? Will. Yep. It is will. Study is the main verb, Ella. Landon, study is the main verb. The helping has to come before it. So your only two options are will and I. The choice should have been will. If you are not typing and participating, that's a problem. Be sure you are typing and participating, my friends. The next part's a little bit different. You have to suggest a helping verb that best completes the sentence. So six, Freddie Blank finish his science homework at our house. What's a word that could go there? Freddie blank finish his science homework at our house. Freddie blank. What could go in the blank? Will. 
Evan. Will works. I don't know if has works. Freddie has. That would have to be finished, Zach. Oh. So, Will, I definitely think, is the best choice. So, way to go. Next one. You blank asked the teacher about tree kangaroos. You blank ask the teachers about tree kangaroos. Your hood needs to be off, Nolan. We're in the school. Nolan, take off your hood. We're in the school. You can ask. That would work. Yes. You must ask. That one would also ask. Or should. You should ask. Um, you may ask. Yeah, that one has a ton of different options. So, may, might, should, did. Any of those would work. Fabulous, fabulous friends. Thank you for participating. If you participated. Verb tenses. Verb tense. So, this is sort of a little bit confusing. So, everyone stay with me. Verb tense can help you convey time, sequence, condition, or states. So, after scientists find a tree kangaroo, they will examine it. Sequence. Verb tense can show the order of events. Scientists will examine the tree kangaroo after they find it. We know what sequence is. This, 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 and this, right? Okay. Uh, then I want to find the better page. Okay. Here, let's explain the um, verb tenses together. So a verb can show action or state of being. So sometimes a verb is made up of a main verb and a helping verb, which we already know. So time, the dog bark, or the dogs bark, that's present. The dogs barked, that's past. The dogs will bark, that's future. We know what time is, that conveys time. Sequence, we know what sequence, what sequence is because it orders events. So the scientists know they made the right decision. So this shows order of events. They now know that they made the right decision earlier. Condition and state, I think, are the harder ones, just for the record. So condition. The scientists will examine the animal if they catch it. So verb tense show, condition verb tense shows that one action or state of depends on the condition being met. The scientists will examine in the future if they're able to catch it. So if the scientists don't get the animal, they can't examine it, right? So that depends on something else. So condition depends on something else. So, uh, in state, the scientists felt happy about their success. So verb tense of linking verb indicates the subject of a particular state, whether they're happy or sad or anything like that. So we're going to identify. So um, those are just sort of, I feel like those are a little bit harder to um, identify which is why I put all these lovely definitions right on your homework pages. That way you would be able to have them. So we're going to hop on over to your actual homework pages. That way we can really go through these together. So um, it is already open on your Google Classroom if you want to um, split your screens, but I'm going to share it on mine in just one second. As soon as I get there. If I ever can present my screen, we're going to go right to the homework. As always, on Thursday at 2.35. No, I lied. On Thursday at 7.45, not 2.35. You better have it in before 2.35. Otherwise, it'd be late. Come on, we can present. So let's go. All right. One more second, and then we will get started. There are five pages of grammar this week, so make sure you get all five of them done, okay? So, as soon as my screen starts staring, we'll start going. Let's go, screen. Anyways, there's five pages, so you got to make sure you get all of them done. Otherwise, you're not going to get all the points, and you'll be sad. So, this one is just action verbs and linking verbs, the first part. So, an action verb shows what the subject does or did. We know that. So, an example, the koala climbed the tree. Okay, action verb, koala. I mean, climb, that's what it did. 
thinking verb connect subjects and sentences in the sentences to the predicate or the subject. So koalas are small and furry. So are would be the linking verb, just like is, was, and number eight. So verse five, all you have to do is underline the action verb. That's it. Underline action verb. So I studied about different animals. What is my action verb in number one? Someone raise their hand and tell me. Rochelle? Studied. It's studied. Correct. So you would highlight studied. Of course, my computer is going to go slow and not do it for me. That's lovely. Anyways, you would highlight study and then you would underline it. Underline is the you with the underline, literally. So you would highlight study and then underline it. Why is this being cooperative? Anyways, yeah, I understand what you're supposed to do. Then on the second part, you're going to highlight the linking verbs in each sentence. So koalas are herbivores. Well, koalas are what we're talking about. Herbivores are what they are. So all that's left is are. So that one's super easy. So you would highlight are. So a number, why, why, does, why is it like this? Ugh, I hate computers sometimes. It never wants to work when I want it to work. Come on. Why is it not working? I don't want anyone touching anything on their grammar screen right now, okay? Just pay attention. Don't be filling something in. For some reason, someone is clicking right now and it's not working. I'm gonna exit out and I'm gonna share a different screen. If one of you peoples are clicking where I'm clicking. So give me a second. Anyways, first part, not too hard. You could be doing that right now while you're, I'm waiting for my screen to be shared. First part, yeah, underline the action. And if it says underline, then underline it. If it says highlight it, then highlight it. Okay, make sure you're following all directions. That's very important. It's very important to underline or to follow all the directions. Why is this taking so long to share? Okay, let's try again. What is that noise? That is like the fourth time I've heard that go off. No, what's not? That's not the sound hers makes. I think she would know what's on the mix. Anyways, whatever sound that is, tomorrow I better not hear it. Okay. Let's see if this works better. And now I have to share it still. Oh my goodness. No one, that's not good for your computer screen. Stop it. Okay. We are back. As soon as I present this, we don't have a lot of time. So. Obviously, if you have any questions, I'll be able to answer them, you know, whenever. So anyways, number, the first page, we already went through action verbs and linking verbs. No big deal. That's like the easiest, well, the most simple in my opinion. Your screen will share momentarily. Page two. If mine ever loads. Oh my goodness. So like I said, number one, studied should be underlined. And then in the second half, R should be highlighted. Why is my screen not scrolling? Okay, finally. In the second part. Well, it's just not loading. That's lovely. Oh, okay. So here, all you are doing it is again main verbs and helping verbs. So you're underlining the main. Oh my goodness! Why computer? <sighs> I hate doing grammar. I'm gonna start filming grammar ahead of time because it never works like it's supposed to. Anyways, the second page, you have to highlight the 
helping verbs and underline the main verbs. And there's just like 10 of those, okay? Same thing as the first page. Now there's just more of them. Nothing crazy. You're doing them both in a sentence instead of just half. Why is this not working? Hey, Landon, I don't know if you know this, but it's my classroom. So I'll tell you when it's time to pack up. I am aware of the time. Um... I know. That? Yeah. My toolbox, since the city had to borrow it. Okay. Yeah, it's a toolbox. Okay. Anyways, the other pages are of the um, state and condition and things like that. Okay. So I don't know why it's not loading, but go through it if you have any questions we will just like always we're going to go through it so do your personal best if you have questions as we go as you are doing it please let me know and we will um go over it on thursday or i can help you um throughout the week if you need help sorry it's not loading for some odd reason but i'm going to end this now because it is nothing is loading anymore so um wednesday we'll probably have a short meet um anyway so we'll go over some more of this so sorry it's not working thank you for joining friends you may leave if you're a door one you need to pack up this will be posted. Let me know if you have any questions. I will totally help you throughout the week. And of course, we always go over it on Thursdays together before the quiz. So, sorry it wasn't loading. Not sure what's up with that. Door ones. Door ones, pack up. If you're not a door one, you can be continuing to work on this. You can work on your spelling. You can work on your, that's what I meant, Landon. Um, you can work on your grammar. You can work on your spelling or you can work on your reading or your math or your e-learning. Bye, Mark. Sorry it wasn't loading.